Now, the pain of working without a loving boss. Most of us have worked for non-lovers. One boss made me uncomfortable just by being in his presence. I was his chief financial officer, and very early on, he made it clear that he knew my job better than I did. <laughs> he never actually had to say anything to cause me to doubt myself. After several months of this unexplained fear, I dreaded going to see him. As the situation was getting worse, not better. Each encounter created another bad experience for me, and I probably, frankly, for him as well. I had a difficult time understanding what was happening to me, until one day when we were discussing another person who had caused some difficulties in the company, and he said to me, I do not trust him. But then, I do not trust anybody. And you, Jerry, your problem is you trust people. My advice to you is to recognize that the people who work for you are just human resources of the business, and you need to use them as if they are expendable. The only thing that matters is that we get the job done, and that means you need to check up on everything those people do. Well, as you might suspect, uh, I was working for a different company in less than six months. <laughs> this boss never understood that love and trust are the foundation of all human relationships. In fact, he never could check up on everybody all the time, and ultimately his subordinates failed him and the company. He never evolved into a leader, and he sank along with the company, and it went into tragic decline. In this case, his employee's failure was his. <laughs>